What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in to what's going to be a review of a brand new product, well, collection of products that literally launch today or pre-order starts today. They are the collaboration of lipsticks between Ofra Cosmetics and Jen Loves Reviews here on YouTube. Jen worked with Ofra to come out with three brand new lipsticks in their long lasting liquid lipstick formula. And it's a really, I think it's a really interesting concept behind these. You know, they can be worn alone because they're in that long lasting lipstick formula but she created these shades specifically to transform your existing lipsticks. They are all neutral flesh tones that are meant to take some of the maybe more out there shades in your collection, those that you don't touch all that frequently because they're not quite as wearable for you, transform those shades into something that makes them more approachable by adding something more neutral, something closer to your own natural skin tone. So I just think it's a really interesting and unique concept behind the creation of these shades in particular, the fact that you're supposed to mix them with other shades. So often with collabs, you hear people, you know, talk about, I couldn't find this perfect shade of red, this perfect shade of pink that flattered my skin tone. And hers were specifically created because she loves mixing her lip products together to get that exact right tone for her. So I think it's interesting and unique. I'm excited to talk about it here today. And because the premise behind this is mixing, I am not only sharing five, mixing these with five of my own lip products. It's a combination of like liquid lips, traditional lipsticks, things like that. But I'm also collaborating with Alexandria S here on YouTube, and she is gonna show you five more shades on her channel. So we wanted to team up to not only share our thoughts on these, but also share as many swatches as possible without totally destroying our lips, which it turns out was unavoidable, even with just the five lip products, but we really hope you enjoyed. And I really hope you go check out her channel because she's just started to get back into the swing of things, making videos and hers is just a channel I really enjoy. So be sure and go check her video out. I will link it down in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. So for starters, each of these retails individ wait, I don't think I said this. Ofra sent these to me. Jen actually asked Ofra to send these to me specifically. So huge thank you to both Jen and Ofra for sending these my way. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to share this with you here on the day of the pre-order. So that's very exciting. When they do officially launch though, however, so today you can pre-order the whole set for $50. However, on the day of the official launch, which let me check the, the, the press materials, are July 29th is when you can not only purchase this set, but each of these lipsticks individually if you'd like to, and they retail for $20, which I think is pretty standard anyway for an individual full-size Ofra long-lasting liquid lipstick too. Now real quick, in case you're not familiar with the Ofra long-lasting liquid lip formula, it's a pretty good one, I think, especially in terms of both longevity and comfort. It definitely walks that line really well. It There is some transfer, it's not totally transfer proof, but I think that is what gives it a little bit more of a comfort over some of those liquid with lips that like dry down really hard and sometimes look crusty and unflattering. You will never experience that with this, but as a result, I do notice that at least the top layer transfers, but then from there on out, very long lasting. And again, your lips don't feel like uncomfortable or raw throughout wear and after it's come off. Oh, and they're really pigmented, which I mean, you'll soon see as I start mixing these with other lipsticks, it doesn't take a lot of product to really impact how these change other lipsticks. So when you mix them, they're very pigmented. When you wear them alone, even with, as you'll see, with a, a shade as light as the one that I'm holding right here, they're pretty opaque, not streaky in the least. It doesn't take a whole lot of layering to get these to look like a solid opaque lipstick, which is good. For those who might be sensitive to it, they do have a slight like sugar, sugar cookie sort of, some sort of baked good scent to it, I think. I don't notice it being overly strong. It doesn't have any sort of synthetic or chemical taste to me, but I know that varies across a bunch of other people. So just in case you are sensitive to scents, know that this definitely is fragranced, but I find it to be pretty pleasant. Okay, now on to the shades. Let's first start with this lightest one. This is the shade Revive, and it is described as a pale neutral with peach and pink undertones. Now this is the one shade in the collection that I would probably never wear on its own just because it is so light. It's so similar to the, my, my natural skin tone that it doesn't give me even the contrast that I would really like a nude to give me with any look that I wear. However, that is also the reason why I have nothing quite like this in my collection. You'll see I swatched something that is 
is just as light, but has a little bit more of a contrasting hue in it. And so while I might not wear this alone, I do appreciate that I have it solely so that I can use it mixing with other lipsticks. And the thing that I've noticed this doing with a lot of the lipsticks that I mix it with is making them almost neon, which makes sense. I mean, it's like an almost white based lipstick. So naturally it's going to lighten and lift that color up, making it the very least pastel, but like with the lip that I'm wearing here today, it kind of gives me neon vibes. And I honestly don't think I have enough neon in my collection. So I am pretty pleased with the effect that this gives my other lipsticks. Next up is the shade Refine. This is the medium tone nude and it is described as a neutral mocha nude with mauve undertones. And it definitely, of the three tones in here, this I think leans the most pink. It definitely gives off mauve vibes as opposed to neutral brown tone. So just know it will shift your lipstick a little bit into that pink category, depending on how notice how much of it you mix in and how noticeable it is with the shade that you're mixing it in with. But this is a really beautiful shade that I would totally wear alone as well as mixed in with every other lipstick I have just to deepen it up a little bit, richen it up a little bit, especially with other lipsticks I have that like you'll see might be too light, too bright. I wouldn't mix the shade Revive in with them because they're light enough as it is. I just need a little bit of extra depth. That is what this tone is good for for me. And then the third shade is called Reimagine, and this is described as a deep neutral mocha brown. And this, this is another one that I think is beautiful standalone, but adds a gorgeous depth to your lipsticks whenever you mix it with them. It's also great to create a gradient lip. I mean, kind of like the lightest shade is too. add a dab of that in the center of your lips and it's like easy peasy gradient lip. This, if you apply that to the outer rim of your lips and then go in with a different shade in the center, it just makes it so easy to create that gradient from deep to lighter in the center. And if you are mixing this with any of your other lipsticks, a little goes a long way because it is so, so pigmented and rich. It's such a beautiful shade. So now let's talk about the lipsticks that I mix this trio with. I wanted to go for the shades that I personally, for me, I find I reach for less because they aren't quite as wearable, right? The premise behind this is to take those maybe less every day with the shades that you bought thinking, oh, I'd love to have that something fun in my collection, but find yourself reaching for it less because it's a little bit out there for you. Those are the shades that I grabbed. So I'm going to show you how they look with each of these lipsticks and then also talk about how they affect the formula because that's another really interesting point with these as well. So first up is one of L'Oreal's infallible pro matte liquid lipsticks in the shade Dose of Rose or Rose. No, just Dose of Rose. It's an ultra light lilac -y sort of pinky purple and I love it. It's beautiful, but it is a little bit, it kind of like the shade Revive from this trio. It's a little bit light for me to feel comfortable wearing it in an everyday use, but I love the pinky purple undertone. So I didn't find that combining it with Revive did a whole lot, but adding it to the other two shades, Refine and Reimagine, really added some interesting depth there. I love how it transformed the two. And mixing the Ofra formula with this one from L'Oreal actually resulted in a very similar formula overall. The two formulas I think are already pretty comparable. The Ofra dries down a little bit more than the L'Oreal. So the net result was a very similar feeling like soft pillowy liquid lipstick that transferred a little bit. But then once that top layer was gone was in it to win it until, you know, it wore off via long-term eating and drinking or you decided to take it off. Next up is an even more intense purple. This is the Rimmel Stay Satin Liquid Lip Color in the shade Atomic. And with this shade, because it is so intense, I didn't really know what to expect, but it really transformed into various shades of purpley gray, which depending on your comfort zone might be more wearable than the ultra grapey purple that this is in the tube. I personally love wearing a good gray and especially in the deeper tones with Refine and Reimagine, those warmer sort of flesh tones tend to come out more. So that makes a gray more wearable to me. And I thought the shades that came out of it were pretty cool. Um, the next lipstick I have is actually a relative new one from LA Girl and this I would totally wear by itself. I just kind of wanted to see how it would affect the formula because this is their Lipify Stylo One Swipe Intense Creamy Color in the shade Rio. It's a hot coral but it's kind of, it, you can see it's 
kind of like a traditional lipstick. It's very pigmented, but it also has an intensely uh, like sheeny, balmy texture to it. So I wanted to see how this really went along with the Ofra Liquid Lip Formula. And they ended up meshing pretty well. The LA Girl really just becomes a liquid lipstick. You get the peach, the intense, you know, hot peach from this formula. But for the most part, the formula just kind of gets absorbed into the Ofra Liquid Lipstick and you ultimately have what is a pretty budge proof and durable liquid lip color. Whereas the LA Girl in the, in the few times that I've worn it, the balm certainly goes away. Like that texture goes away pretty quickly unless you reapply and the pigment kind of sticks around, but nowhere near as long as the Ofra long lasting liquid lipsticks, right? So that was kind of nice to see. Next up was my absolute favorite shade to mix with this trio because I loved every single shade it created. It is from a liquid lipstick from the brand House of Uni in the shade Irie, and it is a bright hot pink. I love it worn alone, but you guessed it, when I mixed it with Revive, it became like this neon sign pink, and that's kind of what I'm wearing today. First I mixed Revived in with the whole thing, and then I added even more of that Revive shade in the center of my lips to create a little bit of a gradient there. But then you mix it in with Refine, and it makes this super deep, but still somehow also a bright pink, it's hard to explain. And the same thing with Reimagine, like I didn't know what to expect in combining these shades and each and every one was so interesting and unique and wearable. And the House of Uni liquid lip color formula is it's a dry down. It is like a dry down transfer proof. This is my all time favorite liquid lip formula because of how steadfast it is. Like this stuff does not come off no matter what you eat, unless you're like dipping bread in olive oil. I mean, you're straight up eating oil, then it pro probably will come off, but it has some serious longevity to it. And so what I found happened was when mixing this with the Ofra liquid lips, those also became transfer proof. Like there is nothing coming off with any of this. So that was really interesting. Then the last lipstick I mixed these trios with was from Pat McGrath. It is one of her Blitz Trance lipsticks, right? I'm pretty sure it's the, it's the one with the glitter on the outside. Absolutely gorgeous, an amazing vanity piece, but I wish it was more than that for me more often. But because the glitters are so densely packed in there, I find it often comes off looking like a metallic red, which is not everyday wearable to me. So I wanted to try mixing these with an entirely different texture since for the most part, if you know, all of these were either balmy or matte or creamy, none of them had glitter or shimmer. So I wanted to put this guy to the test. And what I found was the liquid lips quickly diluted all of the glitter in here. So it was no longer a metallic finish. You could still see some of those sparkles and some of those sparkles were definitely left behind on my lips when what I did was apply the lipstick first and then I'd go in with the liquid lip over top, blurring it in with my finger. And that liquid lip pretty quickly, each of the shades, pretty quickly overtook the glitter in this lipstick and just created a really nice, subtly shimmery, but nowhere near metallic lip shade. So I really love finding that it not only transforms the shades, but also the finishes in case like me, you maybe thought you would wear a glitter lipstick more than you realized you would because you really don't. So I get to use this more often now. You know what I mean? So those are the last of the shades that I have here to swatch today. But remember, you can and totally should go check out Alexandria's channel for five more shades that she is trying on her lips to see what else they can do and also hear her thoughts on Jen and Oprah's collaboration as well. Those are also my thoughts on this collection. I really like it. I think Jen did a great job at choosing shades that would really shift your existing lip sticks, depending on how you wanted to shift them, the skin tone, your skin tone, you're trying to shift them to make them more natural too. So big congratulations to Jen. And if this video did nothing more than help inspire you to mix and match and play with your own lipsticks, I think that's that's a good thing too. I have to say, I personally am more inclined to go dig in my collection and mix not just, you know, these three shades, but a bunch of others to kind of get those custom shades, see what formula, how I can alter formulas, how I can alter shades. It was just really fun to play around. So even if you have no intention of buying these, hopefully watching this and seeing some of these color combinations inspired you to go play around with your collection at the end of the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.